Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, I have a really, really good one for all of the beginner investors out there. And this video is going to talk about where to find stocks. So a lot of time people want to get started with investing and they just don't know where to start. Now they may have a couple of index funds like ATI, VOO, different ones that they like, but they want to get into some individual stocks. Okay. Some individual companies that may be able to help diversify their portfolio, maybe get their feet wet a little bit. And so I figured, let me do this video and I'm going to title this series because I am going to do a series on it and it's called Investing From Home. Now, the idea behind this series that I created is to really show you that a lot of the services and goods, the things that you have in your home are actually traded on the stock market and you can start there. So if you know that you use some products that you really love that you know you are just bougie about because there's certain brands that i'm bougie about as well then those companies are great places to start number one because you are a loyal customer of theirs right so i don't want to waste any more time because i know that i can ramble but we're going to get right into the video so the first place that i'm going to start is here my cell phone now this is an android phone this is by samsung and the mobile provider is sprint or t-mobile now did you know that both samsung and t-mobile are publicly traded on the stock market again if you have at&t if you have verizon those are really really great places to start all solid companies verizon even pays a dividend so does at&t and at&t is about 32 dollars give or take at the recording of this video so again guys great solid companies if you know you use their products and their services why not go on and invest let's move on so as you can see i have this you guys use this obey you like this on all your stuff it makes shrimp taste good it makes pasta tastes good sometimes you put it onto your broccoli it makes it taste good but if you turn it around to the side right here let me see if i can put that up <clears throat> excuse me guys my allergies are just really kicking my butt and i have to constantly clear my throat i'm sorry guys but obey is owned by mccormick and company now did you know that mccormick and company is also traded on the stock market now i'm going to pull a couple of these companies up so that we can go over some of the data and analytics together but again guys sitting in your cabinet you know you use it all the time great 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 company to invest in next now this is one of the companies that i'm bougie about i like tide in general i don't care if it's tied simply if it's the tide oxy if it's the red bottle tide I just love Tide with three kids, especially with two boys who gets dirty all the time. Tide is the bomb.com, okay? And I love this. And this is one of those products and those brands that I will forever be a fan of, that I will forever buy. And did you know, let's turn it over on the back. I'm trying to make sure I zoom in because sometimes this can get a little tricky. But down there, that symbol is PNG. Now, you guys have probably heard of PNG. PNG makes a lot of products you got charmin toilet paper in your house you have bounty to uh paper towels those are all traded under png ticker symbol <laughs> i think it's png or pg i'll look it up this would be one of the companies that we're going to look at but again guys this is something that if you have in your house and you use it and you're a faithful user of it invest in a really really solid company i think the pandemic showed why they are a great company to have in your portfolio especially if you want to get into individual stocks why because we're always going to need things like this people are always going to buy it and you want to make sure that as this stock continues to grow that you can make money off of that so let me put that down moving on clorox everybody probably got this in their house okay if you clean if you have children um sometimes you can wash deep clean certain things clorox 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 this company has been around for years i mean my grandmother and great grandmother are faithful were faithful faithful fans of clorox now my grandmother is still alive but she still uses clorox i mean loves this stuff and if you love using a particular product why not invest in that company and again clorox is traded publicly on the stock market so this is another product around the home now my kids love this cereal now 
I don't know if you ever heard of Kellogg's. Uh, you probably have if you have children. And even if you don't, you probably love this cereal. We're talking about Apple Jacks. We're talking about Frosted Flakes. We're talking about Corn Flakes, Raisin Bran. Well, Kellogg's own this company. And guess what? It's traded publicly on the stock market. Do you love General Mills cereals? So that's Cinnamon Toast Crunch, things like that. That's publicly traded on the stock market. These are types of companies, like I said, they are around your house. You probably have hundreds of companies that's traded on the stock market around your house. What about sneakers? You like Nikes? I love wearing Nikes. My husband is a big fan of Nike. Guess what? Nike is traded on the stock market. Got a lot of purses. Do you love your Louis Vuitton? Louis Vuitton is traded on the stock market. This is just some several examples of what I mean when I say that you can become a consumer. Not just a consumer, you can become an owner, not just a consumer of these companies. You wanna make sure that every time that you go out and you spend all your hard earned money on things that really lose value over time, a great way to balance that is by owning the stock. So if I know I want to get a Louis pocketbook, if I know I wanna to go to Victoria's Secret or Ulta, it actually makes me feel a little bit better about splashing that money down knowing that at the end of the day, I own these companies. These companies are in my portfolio. And the great thing about it is that some of these companies pay dividends. Basically, the companies are paying you for owning the stock. Now, I was already going to buy the stock because I just love it. But to pay me to own it is just like next level insane. And so again, guys, these are just some of the companies uh, that uh, <clears throat> are traded on the stock market. One more, one more, one more, one more. I love this. Now, some people are addicted to Pepsi. Some people love their Diet Cokes. This is me. This is Risk Ice Tea. And this is the lemon flavor. Did you know on the back, Lipton is traded under Ulever. Ulever is traded on the stock market. Again, guys, if you know you're going to buy it, you know you're going to drink it, why not be an owner as well? <clears throat> so these are just some of the things that I wanted to talk about. I'm now going to make my face smaller and we're going to go to Yahoo Finance, which is one of the best websites I like to use. It's super beginner friendly, very easy to find information. And we're going to talk about some of the companies that I just talked about so that we can see why you should invest in these companies. Not a financial advisor. I'm just saying you guys get to see some of the <laughs> method behind the madness, how we find companies around our home and being able to educate ourselves because you should always have some type of understanding of what you are investing in. So let's turn the camera around. All right, guys, so we're here on Yahoo Finance. We're going to look up Clorox first, since we were just talking about that. You can type it in. So if you don't know the ticker symbols, you don't have to worry about that. Just type it in the way that you know how to spell it, and it'll pull it up for you, okay? So we have Clorox. This is the company we're looking for. So we are going to click it. Now, this is great because this allows us to see how the stock is doing today. So the stock market has been, just FYI, the stock market has just been on a downtrend lately because a lot of inflation fears. This is something that I talk about happening because, again, when the government keeps printing money, the value of the dollar goes down and inflation is going to inevitably happen because you got the cost of goods and services going up, but wages are not going up as well. And when you're constantly printing free money and you're not having anything go back into the economy, this is the type of stuff that happens. And we don't even want to talk about hyperinflation, which can be super scary. You probably have heard of your grandparents, maybe even your parents, depending on how old they are, talk about it happening in the 70s where there were like gas lines and bread was expensive, meat was expensive. I remember some of my great aunts telling me about this type of stuff. You could only go get gas on certain days. I mean, it was really, really bad. And so again, guys, this is type of the type of stuff that in terms of our investment portfolio, we are trying to guard against. So let's just look at Clorox. Clorox is currently at $185.94. That is a lot. You can buy fractional shares. So if you don't have all of the $185, you could buy $10 for $50 worth. Robinhood is a great way to do that. I'll leave my referral link in the description box. If you use that link, you'll get some free stock. I'll get some free stock. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just supporting the channel. But if you want to get into fractional shares, Robinhood is a great app to do that with. Um, so we have it at $185.94 right now. Let's go over here to profile. Start here if you're a beginner. You should know where the company is located. You should know the sectors. This is consumer defensive. That means sectors that really provide stability that are really safe in an economic downturn. So remember when the pandemic happened last year? They were flocking to companies like this, companies where 
when the world goes to hell in a handbasket, these companies do great. So your Cloroxes, your Kellogg's, um, the, some of the companies that I just showed you, Tide, all of those companies do absolutely fantastic because those are safe consumer defensive companies. You also have how many employees work. This is what I really love down here is your CEO. You should know who the owner of, who's the head of the company. We see that it's Linda down here, or excuse me, Miss Linda Rindle. She's a CEO director. We want to make sure we give her her props. Um, we can also come back to the summary back here. You can see what the previous open and close was. You can see what the next earnings date is. You can see if they pay a dividend. Clorox do pay a dividend. So this is one of those dividend companies I was telling you about. Again, guys, you have some, you have a lot of things that you can look up. I'm not going to pull them on here because this will take forever. But again, guys, you can see some of the income, the money that's coming into these companies. See if that meets your satisfaction in terms of being an investor. The fact of the matter is you want to make sure that you are investing in companies that are continuing to expand their products, that are keeping their base, that are, you know, adapting to the times and changes that we're in, that have good management, that are using the profits that they're gaining well so even if they have to reinvest back into the company that's always a good thing paying their employees well that's another great thing if they can get their products and services and a, a lot of stores on a lot of shelves even with e-commerce that's also another plus again guys and clorox is just seriously it's 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 everywhere back at the profile section you can continue to scroll down you can see where their headquarters they're in oakland california and then the description is really nice let me move my face because you can see some of the other products and brands that Clorox owns. Did you know that they own the Hidden Valley brand? Did you also know that they owned um, the Neutral Vitality? I've seen that in the store. The Rainbow Light, I've seen that in the store as well. They own the Greenworks brand. Did you also know they own Pine Sol, SOS? Do you have that stuff under your cabinets? What about Brita? You had that in your house? Clorox owned these companies, okay? This is really awesome. Let's try to see if we can squeeze in two more. So let's do McCormick since I was just talking about that. That is the Old Bay right here. Let's look at them. So they're currently at $89.72. Let's go on over to the profile. So we see that they're located in Maryland. They are also a consumer defensive, basically your foods, uh, toiletries, things like that, household, anything that you need for your household, those are really consumer defensive. So you can see who the CEO is right there. You see what they're headquartered there in Maryland scrolling down you can see i love reading the description again because it tells you some of the other types of brands that they have so they own french's they own frank's red hot i have some of that downstairs we love that what about laurie's do you know the seasoning do you have that in your cabinet they own that as well okay they also own zatarans i love zatarans rice again companies you buy the products why not be a part owner in the company now finally we're going to look up kellogg's here we go. Kellogg's is trading at $67.15. Did you know that Kellogg's pays a dividend as well? I think they are reasonably priced. Again, another consumer defensive. People are always going to buy this. This is packaged foods. Look at how many employees they have. Kellogg's is not going anywhere. They're located in Michigan. You have your CEO down here. Let's go down to see what else they own. Now, we already know Kellogg's own a bunch of cereals we probably have them sitting in our cabinets but they also own cheez it's pringles they own the kashi brand i know you've probably seen those like really healthy type of cereal bars they own those as well morning star form farms i believe they make the vegetarian burgers my husband had tried those he liked those they make those as well again all the types of cereals that you can think of the nutri grain they own those as well i mean kellogg's own a lot of companies and again guys like i said you can invest in these companies the great thing about the companies is that some of these companies pays a dividend just like kellogg's do you can play around on here spend some time just playing around on yahoo finance learning about the company learning if you want to get into the company what the analysts are saying maybe looking at the financials financials is really important let's pull up kellogg's financials you can see how much money they have on their books, how much their expenses are, how much income is coming in. We know that Kellogg's had a really, really great earnings report. I mean, from just people going to the supermarket, you go to Costco, your local supermarket, things like that. 
people are buying cereals. If you have children, you know you are buying cereals because I know I'm spending money on a whole lot of cereal. So that's pretty much the video, guys. Stay tuned for more videos in this series. I hope that you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.